A very good morning and Om Shanti to all of you listeners. Welcome back to your own channel. See the Sudha Truth Lights Within. And as you can see, there's a beautiful view behind me, a beautiful garden. And as you go up the ladder from here, you go towards the Shirbury Parks Temple over here. And it's a beautiful place. So we are changing locations and we are seeing the different views from different locations. And may you enjoy the locations and at the same time listen to the blessings which we're going to talk about today. So in today's blessing, Godfather wants us to become like an innocent child. See, we call him Godfather, we call him Allah, we call him Jehovah. We call him that he is the creator and he created us in his own eyes. So what did his eyes see? Did his eyes see impurity? Did his eyes see any kind of malice? No. <coughs> in the same manner, God says that, Remember, I created you in your own original innocent state. That means you were pure, you were innocent. But when you started looking at others' faults, when you started looking at others' failures, when you started looking at what wrong is there in other people, your innocence went out. And your innocence went out along with that, the evil entered in. So bring about your innocence again, so that you can experience me and you can feel like a divine being in the way I had created you. So let's see what does Baba have to say today. Godly Father says, may you be innocent of waste. Waste means thinking about others, thinking negative about others, thinking about what bad can happen in life. That is waste thought. So may you be innocent of waste and an embodiment of ignorance of waste. So we can ignore people, we can ignore situations, but God is saying, don't do that. Ignore waste thoughts. By showing your deity sanskars or deity divine habits and by experiencing divinity. Let's go into the details here. God says, when you children were in your golden aged kingdom, so this is the iron age and if you go back, we were in golden age. Golden age also means heaven on earth. So God is reminding us that when you were in your golden age kingdom, you were innocent of waste. That means we did not have any knowledge about impurity. We did not have any knowledge about lust, anger, greed, ego, attachment, jealousy, hatred and laziness and many negativities. We had no idea that they existed. Because God has, had created us completely pure and innocent of waste and maya. This is why deities are called saints or great souls. So they, so let those sanskars, that means habits of yours emerge. That means now I should remember my pure side. I should remember my completely divine side. I should recall or awaken the divine side in me. So people go to temples and they ring the bell. That is a reminder that awaken the divinity within yourself and become an embodiment of ignorance of any waste. Be ignorant of any waste of time, breath, words or actions. So God is saying that you can waste your time, you can waste your breath, you can waste your thoughts. But God is saying that he wants us not to waste any of these and become ignorant of that even every breath is important and then god says when you are ignorant of any waste divinity will then automatically and easily be experienced see it's about experiencing divinity when we look at ourselves and when we look at the world we think that the world is impure it is we are supposed to be impure in this world so as to move forward in our life that we need, need to use tactics of this present world situation so as to succeed in this present life but in doing so we lose our peace we lose our purity we lose our connection with god we feel lonely we feel empty from within so god says that bring about that divinity and experience it bring about that opposite side of what you have been experiencing or what you have been acting through and try to experience that divine side of yours instead of the impure side and god says so do not think that of making effort purusharth or effort but become that being purush soul is known as the purush or the main ruler of this body so be in that state that i am a soul i'm not this body and a soul is neither greedy is neither angry is neither jealous is nor having any kind of impure thoughts but when we think of ourselves as a body a limited being we start having those impure thoughts so experience that divinity a divine soul and carry out your task throughout through your chariot so this is the chariot and i the soul you the soul are the ruler of the chariot 
do not repeat any mistake that you have made because if you keep on repeating mistakes then it becomes a habit and habits are difficult to change until or unless you create a new habit which overlaps your old habit so god wants us to do this and how do you do that how you travel on to this road or on to this journey of feeling your own divine old self for that you will have to do the seven day course of brahma kumaris and learn about it deeply with this om shanti have a blessed day